So, uh, as is tradition with uh, VTuber, VTuber model show-offs, you start from the bottom, slowly T stuff. So yeah, I've got new shoes, and here's the cool thing. I can go up and down on them now, see? Stand on my tiptoes. Got some new accessories down here. A little pouch, uh, some keys. It's a cloak. Yeah, I'm wearing a cloak. Check out the clasps. <laughs> Cute clasps, isn't it? Check it out. Uh, well, I don't know if you can see very well, but I have... Uh, see, my body actually can turn now. That's, that's a new thing. I've grown my hair out a little bit, as you can see. It's a little longer. I mean, my hair was already kind of long, but... <laughs> you know, My previous model had pretty long hair. But it's longer now. Alright, okay, I don't I don't have too much else to tease. There we go. So yeah, here here's the new model. New face, new hair. Got a bunch of new accessories too. Hair physics? Yep, uh, I've got new and improved hair physics, even better now. They look pretty good, don't they? They even droop uh they even droop when I tilt. I always joked about it, like underneath uh, underneath the old revision model, my uh, left eye, my left eye is actually present and animated, but you never see it because the hair is always covering it. <laughs> Here, the hair is still covering it for the most part, but if I tilt at certain angles, if I tilt at certain angles, there you go, you can get a little peek. Ah, there we go. My head angles. They look better, don't they? Like when I tilt and turn, it does. It looks more 3D compared to revision. Now. So this is a uh, yeah. This is probably the biggest improvement, I guess, from the previous model in terms of how it tilts and turns. It's very cool. It was a lot of work, I tell you what, but mm, it's all nice and fancy. All right. Um. So I guess you guys want to see the whole model, like as a whole. I zoom out a little bit. There it is. That's my whole model. The whole body moves now. When I when I turn around. So why why am I dressed up like this? Uh, a little bit of a little bit of impromptu lore, I guess. So I was studying this old magic artifact that I picked up. You may have seen it like on my Twitter a while back. This weird nade drop. I've called it the Arcana Morb. Hence the name of this model. So I was studying studying it and unlocking the secrets of his magic power, or something like that. That's why I'm dressed up like this. We're out here... We're out here doing magical investigation. I've distilled its power and I've implemented it into the... into this halo over here. The one that used to contain my mask. I've, uh, modified it for its new purpose. So, with a little bit of, uh, magic power... Here we go. Fun ears. Yeah, we're slightly anime you now. <laughs> We've got rabbit ears, yeah. Alright, what else can I do? Um, I can take my cloak off. Check it out, it's layered. I can take my cloak off now. Check it. Key art. Yeah, Arcanum. Arcanum model. So, what'd you guys think? So, um... I've got expressions as well, like the like the last model. So first one. This is um angry. Angry model. Not I'm not happy. Uh we've got this one. This is when we're in trouble. Uh we also have You don't like this one? Hmm? Chat, do you, do you, you don't like it when I look at you like that, do you? <laughs> yeah, we've got a smug, we've got a smug expression now too. And we, uh, lastly, we also have this one. Yeah, sad emote. So we've got a, uh, we've got a few, we've got a few different expressions now. That's not all I have to show. I did say the show was gonna be a bit longer. I'm gonna have more stuff to show, showcase, right? Alrighty, chat. So. The Arcanum Orb that I was studying, uh, it's not just rabbit ears that I can make up here. I uh, studied it deeply over the last few months and I think I've unlocked its secret power. Or something. 
And uh, I'm about to activate it right now, alright? So... Here I go then. <clears throat> Wahoo! Here I am. Uh, that was a little embarrassing, but <laughs> here, here I am. Yeah, magical go sequence. It was a magical go artifact. Go figure. So, check it. I have an entire second form now. Full model. That's how long my hair is now. It gets, it goes all the way down to my waist. <laughs> and uh, we've got a couple of different accessories now. I guess. I guess. We, I guess we we'll show off some of them. Wearing stockings. Got a cute little half skirt. Check it. Uh, it's got physics too. Mahu. Then we got a we got a cute new jacket. You know, the straps and everything. Um, so yeah, all the all the hotkeys still work too. I can still be mad at you. I can still be uh, exasperated. I can be smug. I can be very very smug if you want me to chat. I'm gonna take my jacket off. Hmm. There you go. That's that's where the key ring went. Mode 2! You can tell it's Mode 2 because I have two flowers. <laughs> I, I was really, I'm really happy with this piece of art by the way. Isn't it cute? You may think I need to be off screen to do my transformation, right? But here's the fun part. I don't. I can transform on screen. Here I go. Yeah, it's it's a quick little it's a quick little one, but just to show it off, this is this is a single this is one model. Everything is in one model, so I can just change back and forth as and when, like that. Whoosh. Works with the jacket off too. Whoosh. <laughs> yeah, that that feature took a lot of work to get working. I tell you what, I'm gonna move on to the next thing I'm gonna show off now. All right, chat. So give me a second. All right, we're moving real quick here, chat. But I've got even more stuff to show. And uh, if you're seeing this environment, I think you could probably guess what's about to happen. Hmm? Hmm? What's up? Hey, I'm really far in the background. Hi, there you go. How you doing, everybody? So you thought I only had two modes to show off? I have more than two modes. Check this out. I've got tree. This is mode tree. I decided it was time to update the treaty as well. Uh, we've been sitting around the treaty for a long time, and I kind of wanted to get a new updated one. So I went back to my usual 3D artist, Silver Crystal, and I wanted to do... Originally I was going to do Mode 2, but I figured Mode 2 wouldn't translate too well into 3D because of some reasons. Uh, some of the silhouette stuff, some of the num some of the parts and stuff, so I went ahead and designed the third version. And this is Mode 3, you can tell, because there's three flowers on there. We are officially furry. There's nothing I can do to... There's nothing I can do to deny it. <laughs> Such as it is. It is what it is. On that note, can, can I? Can I I'm gonna turn around. I can see it. Tail. I gotta move. Wait. I gotta move closer. Tail. That's all years. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I dyed my hair blue. Tied it up into ponytails. Yeah, I got twin tails now instead of the loose flowing hair. Loose flowing hair is nice too. It's nice and cute, but I think the ponytails look pretty good as well, don't you think? And uh, like all the other models, I can take my jacket off. Yeah. Hmm. Angry. Angry face. Sad face. 
And happy face. Yeah. Selfie cam. If I can see some of the features up close, yeah? The show is kind of haphazard. We're kind of just doing whatever. Moving one, of, one after another. It's kind of scuffed. Going forward, I think this is probably going to be the main VR model that we'll be using. So, yeah. It's going to be cool. It's going to be fun. <laughs> God, this model is so cute. I can't stand it. So cute, isn't it? <laughs> uh, yeah, I can do gestures too. I mean, it's kind of hard to tell because I've got little, I've got little stubby fingers. But yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> All right, well, we're we're having a lot of fun right now. A lot of fun. I think I can, I, I think I can hair flip as well. Hang on, kinda. There, I did it. <laughs> I, can, I can do a hair flip. Alright, key art. This one I'm really happy with too, isn't it cool? <laughs> Here's the key art uh, for, for the three modes. So I have more, there is more to the presentation. I've got a whole portfolio concept art thing in the back. But I have one last thing to show you guys. Alright chat, you ready? I'm gonna show it off now. Check it. So... This is what I call my updated PNG mode, more or less. You've probably seen my uh, PNG before, you know, the very basic one, Discord Reactive, you know, bounces up and down when you talk, stuff like that. I've upgraded it, like, I've massively upgraded it, as you can see. Yeah, here, watch this. I can get mad at you again. I can also get shocked. And I can get smug. I can get real smug with you guys. And I can get sad. Pretty much. So it's the same uh, the same emotion toggles as the main model. I decided to just go for the same four ones, uh, just to keep things simple. But yes, I have been cooking. So now even when we're doing PNG streams, they're going to be a lot more expressive and um, immersive, I guess. You can see also I've got a tiny little bit of animation here. Yeah. Finger bounce and blinking. It's time for time to show off some of the assets. I'm gonna show them off and they're gonna be a little more fancy than the one we have right now. So here we go. Just for before the stream starts. Then we've got this. That's for when we end the stream, obviously. And we have one for when we have to step away from the keyboard a couple for for a bit. The B right. I have a fancy new uh, stinger animation for when I'm switching scenes. I haven't turned it on up to this point, but I'm gonna turn it on now. All right, chat. So here we go. This is my new stinger animation for when we're transitioning between screens. Pretty fancy, eh? And that's a lot of stuff I'm showing off. I think the next slide's the last one. Yeah, it is. That was, uh, that was everything. I showed everything. <laughs> alrighty, alrighty. 